welcome back to More Than Cars YouTube. I've just arrived at Redline Specialist Cars. Just had a nice little chat with Dean. Um, ooh, nice hurricane arriving. Drove the uh, Evo today here. Um, yeah, I've got some news. I might, well I'm not might, I am. I'm collecting a brand new supercar today. Um, I'm really, really excited for this car. I did promise that I do take my cars on track. Uh, you probably watched the car while one, actually. Um, I took the SV, not on track, but on a, on a runway the other day. Uh, and this car is specifically designed to go on track. Um, I'm not gonna reveal it yet. You're gonna see the footage in a minute. Well, that's impressive. <laughs> 488 Pista. Can't get much better than that. And all the lads are here. That's it, you've won. There's not much more to say. Pista and an SV in the garage at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> excitement of Redline is over and I've actually driven, not uh, transported the Pista home. Um, and I actually wanted to drive it home because I felt I missed out actually on driving the SV home. All the mayhem and chaos of the actual collection and then kind of a lull when you're just waiting for it to arrive off the transporter. So, uh, no, I actually wanted to drive this home. Um, and to be honest, I'm, I'm blown away straight away. Um, I've driven a couple of Ferraris in my time, um, mainly a California, uh, the new Portofino, uh, and I drove an old 458. I never drove a 488. So I haven't really got anything to compare this to, but what, well, other than a 458, and I can tell you, my. God, this thing is rapid. Um, if I'm comparing this to the 720 McLaren, um, I think they're just as quick, if I'm being honest. I was, I've been so impressed with how this feels naturally aspirated. It isn't, it's obviously turbocharged in the engine at the back, but uh, it feels incredibly responsive. Uh, and I'm gonna do a little walk around of the spec of this car because it's quite highly optioned in the terms of carbon bits and bobs. So, um, Actually, thank you to Ferrari. They do actually include a fair bit of carbon as standard, but there are some decent. So it's uh, Rosso Corsa is the colour, so a very um, kind of typical um, Ferrari. Now, as I've probably, I, I will obviously explain, this is not a brand new car. This, well, it is brand new in the sense it's delivery mileage, um, but I have um, purchased this from Redline. Um, this wasn't my spec, but I actually think this is a very good spec. Certainly for resale, it's a very 
classic Ferrari, Russell Corsa with the white and blue stripe down the middle. Um, it, it's certainly very appealing to people who like Ferraris. However, I have got plans for this car. This hopefully, hopefully if things come off, will not be staying red. Um, I do like it and I'll probably enjoy it for a couple of months being red. Um, but uh, it certainly won't stay that way. So anyway, let's let's walk around and have a look at the spec. So very nicely by Ferrari. I believe you get some elements of this at the front as standard. However, not all of it. So in my thankfully in my case, all of it is standard. Now, one ad a controversial addition to. Um, kind of the front end of the Ferrari is the front camera because if you have a look it does actually stick out a fair bit as well as the parking sensors but uh, I am quite grateful they're there because I definitely don't want to bump that carbon uh, front and I'll pop the bonnet in a second to have a, a look because obviously most of this car is carbon fibre and that bonnet is one massive piece of carbon fibre what is just magical to look at. Um, so moving along to the side, this I believe was a very expensive carbon fibre option but gratefully basically every single carbon option on this car has been ticked. Um, I believe, I, be I believe. Please let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong. I believe every single carbon fibre option, other than some floor mats. But obviously these are standard. Um, actually the engine bay, very surprisingly, um, is all carbon fibre and is all completely standard. However, one th the rear, I believe, is standard. However, one thing that isn't standard is that back bit there that uh, nicely fits in with the carbon and the carbon rear it is all nicely standard one thing mine hasn't got that I probably would have liked actually is um, you can get the kind of darker um, I think the ceramic actually um, pipes and the rear I don't know if that affects noise or anything but I think the reason they've done it because obviously the silver wheels so silver pipes it does kind of make sense but I think I would have preferred them black especially with the plan I have with this car anyway um obviously yellow calipers you've got the standard shield I mean anyone would be nutty not to put buy one of these cars and not spec um, the shields or anything like that. but looking inside um, obviously the doors are all carbon fiber that's, that's, that's standard this isn't standard and I believe that isn't standard um, so they have been ticked also the upper ooh, when it focuses come on come on camera there we go all of this is carbon this carbon up here carbon here all of this is carbon and quite honestly it is a lovely place to sit um, the seats are firm enough um, that they really do feel like they hug you well um, but um, they're, they're comfy as well um, mine doesn't have there is an option on, obviously on the driver's side um, there's a lever here that actually cranks them up I'm five foot ten eleven ish um, so I, I don't need that but I think if you were slightly shorter that would be an option you should definitely definitely spec on this car one thing mine hasn't got is under here is aluminium tread plate not a carbon fiber I believe this was like a three grand option what well, is kind of nutty if I'm being honest but uh, just look at that 488 pista wow I mean <laughs> I mean, what, what, what am I doing? Uh, I mean, quite honestly, um, we've recently had the Lamborghinis. We've got an incredible Aston Martin DBS, the Aston Martin GT8, and now a Ferrari Pista. Um, my actual first Ferrari I've owned as well. I mean, what a level to go in at. Um, I don't know if I've told you, I've got a couple of Ferraris on order, but they're not due to turn up for another year or so, I think. Um, but yeah, I, I am blown away with this car and I will be doing some track days in the 488 Pista. I think this is the perfect one to actually take on track and enjoy properly. I will take the SV on track. I've obviously, I don't know if when this video is, is going out, but if you've watched the Car Wow video, um, I drove my SV against a Performante. Now, quite obviously the Performante 1 is lighter, got a dual clutch where the SV is a single clutch, uh, but it, at the end of the day, I am using the cars to their fullest potential. <coughs> oh dear, sorry. Uh, and actually loving every single minute of it. Um, I have got a few little cars in the works, so do stay, do stay tuned, but my goodness, I mean, 
what am I doing? This is amazing, absolutely incredible, and all the rest of the very descriptive words. Um, and in a true Archie Hamilton, just look at this thing sat there. It looks so aggressive, so mean, yet so stylish. Um, yeah, I, I'm blown away to be honest. And I'm going to jump in now uh, and give it a little bit of stop after this car's gone, just to show you actually how loud this thing is. Um, so if Ferrari can make them loud, I hope McLaren can learn something from a uh, turbocharged engine. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, open the door. And they really should do something about those handles. I, just, I hope, I hope. Oh, sorry about the uh, joltiness there. Right. We're in the 488 Pista, foot on the brake, and let's give her a, actually, let's, can you lock the window down first? Mm, I think you can turn the electrics on, that always helps. It's not the, uh, and give it a start. <laughs> a little barble when it starts off. This is warm, so that wasn't a cold start. Um, but if I give it a little, uh, <laughs> Oh dear, what am I doing? Um, I'm not going to hint at any more driving or anything because that will naturally follow Ooh, let's shut her off. Uh, in another video. Um, I want to say a massive thank you for Dean at Redline for um, prepping and sorting this 488 out. Um, there are going to be things happening with Dean very shortly, so uh, watch him, watch me, um, obviously watch the other guys as well. Um, thank you very much for watching guys. I do hope you've enjoyed this kind of look around my brand new 488 Pista. I will do some driving reviews with it. I will be taking it on track. So please do subscribe to the More Than Cars YouTube channel. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, do follow me on there. I do post a little bit more frequently and I do engage with the stories all the time. Um, so it's phildixon 89 on Instagram. Thank you very much for watching guys. Do hope you've enjoyed. Get in the comments, smash that thumbs up button if you've enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon for plenty more videos to come.